Africa's Kremlin Dawa. It has been, Mr. President, it has been incredibly busy. Sellers selling, buyers buying, and media interviewing and reporting. We are a united industry, and an industry that unites, connects, builds bridges, and overcomes barriers. We are an industry that is very resilient in the face of economic turbulence. We are an industry that is performing exceptionally well contributing more than 9% to GDP and employing more than one and a half million people across the value chain. As the global citizens that we all are, we are physically in many ways separated by a number of things, by boundaries and by borders, and these separate us from each other. But we are, however, united in our affinity and our love for this great continent, Africa. I'm glad that there are so many from 80 countries who are here who recognize precisely what Africa has to offer. We all know that we have majestic mountains and smiling hills. We must reduce the onerous and often unnecessary bureaucratic red tape that tourists who want to visit our country's face. That we should do. Now, if a tourist is held back by a lot of red tape, they immediately just give up and go to another destination. Now, this clearly requires that we should do what all of you have said in great applause to the rebel rousing, what the rebel rousing minister was saying that we should streamline our tourist visa regimes. And as South Africa, we are committed to working towards the African Union's goal of a visa-free travel dispensation and a single African air transport market. That we are prepared to do. 